Hello everyone, you are tuned into Lead Secret Sessions. My name's Hamish Tate, and alongside me is Holly Rolf. How are you doing, Holly? I'm great, how are you? Doing very well, thank you. Cool. What's this first song you're going to play? I'm going to play, well, we're going to play, Beside Me. My darling I fall into space when I'm with you. You're sparkling. A glimpse of your heart, it makes me want you. You're touching the parts of my soul that were missing you. Don't stop it. We're too far ahead to forget this lately I've been feeling so alone and baby I just wanted you to know when you took me dancing My heart started collapsing So baby, stay beside me When you love me right back And you look at me like I watch you and dance in my heart, yeah, it collapses So baby, stay beside me Sometimes you can't fix what's broken Tell me why I have to question What's right between my head and my heart When you give me 10,000 reasons And I'm trying to not fall apart Oh, it's true, I'm through I'm still stuck on you though you lied I try not to cry, she's your friend, don't pretend And I know how this ends Sometimes words just ain't enough Sometimes words just ain't enough Through the tough times I stood by 
by your side Despite the pain and the way you treat me Oh, I was good, the best you ever could But baby, the times have changed oh, oh, oh. Yes, I love you so But my brain tells me no to all of the reasons why I should stay You want to try, but sometimes you can't fix what's broken. Tell me why I have to question what's right between my head and my heart. When you give me 10,000 reasons, and I'm trying to not fall apart. Oh, it's true, I'm through, I'm still stuck. You lied. I try not to cry. She's your friend, don't pretend. And I know how this ends. Sometimes words just ain't enough. Sometimes words just ain't enough. No, no, no. Sometimes words just ain't enough. Holly Rolf here on Lead Secret Sessions. So, Holly, I uh, read that you discovered songwriting in lockdown. Um, how has your writing developed since then? I think because I write a lot of my songs about natural experiences, obviously in lockdown, we weren't seeing people. So getting out of lockdown, starting to see people again, having more kind of human interactions, I was able to be more inspired and write about actual things. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, being mainly a vocalist, do you play any other instruments? or? Yeah, I play a little bit of guitar and piano, but not very good. I'm trying. Okay. So, <laughs> as a, a vocalist uh, and guitar and piano player, how, how do you... What, well, what is your writing process like? Um, it tends to change, but the one thing I always do is I'll whack a voice recording on, so I'm recording, and just improv and just like go from there and um, mess around with some chords. Usually they're quite basic chords and then I'll try and sort that out later on down the line. But it's more about getting a basic idea. Um, I always like to have um, a specific um, story being told um, to make sure I can sum the song up within like a sentence. Otherwise I tend to get really distracted and I'm like, the lyrics don't really make sense to me. So as long as I have a clear concept and I'm improving and I have my voice recording. That's how I go. Okay. Like yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's that's a interesting way of doing it. So you've got you've got the narrative, and you just see where your mind goes from there. Yeah. Yeah. Is there any any point then from there? Once you've got the voice notes and mm. the idea, do you then potentially bring in a co-writer, or how how does that then develop? Yeah, so I've written with a couple of people. Um, I tend just to have a basic idea. Um, some of my songs are completely done by me. Um, some of them are co-written and in the credits says who's, who's written with. Um, and I just like people to throw in their ideas. Like I'm not offended by anything. I'm just be like, is this bad? And they'll just say if it's bad. Mm -hmm. um, and just being honest and just like, I love working with other people because I think you learn so much of other people. Um, Mm -hmm. So that's why I really, I really like working with other people. Actually, yeah. well, speaking of working with other people, could you introduce your guitarist to the to the side of you there? Of course, this is my lovely guitarist, Brendan Donegan. How long have you guys worked together? Is it six months now? Six months. Like in September, Brendan sent me a message being like, "Hey, I think I think we should like work together," um, and I was like, "I think I was really hesitant to start off yeah. with," and I was like, "I was like, okay, fine." Um, so we met for a coffee. And we actually listed like all the things that I wanted to do, like kind of in a couple years. And we've already ticked off like nearly every single one. 
and it's been six months. So it's it's flown by. It's been crazy. Amazing. Yeah. Well, in those six months and also your the rest of your musical career, mm-hmm. you do a lot of busking, but you also do gigs. Yeah. Um, what differences do you find in those two different performances? So mainly, you actually pointed this out really clear. With busking, I'm so used to just singing a song and then straight away, next song. Um, because obviously, people's like attention span, um, they're busy out on like a day out. They don't want to be like waiting around in between each song. So I'm so used to flicking through them that when I get to a gig, because um, I've done a lot of function gigs, um, but coming to Leeds, um, I'm doing a lot more actual um, support acts and I'm not used to talking in between and talking about myself. Um, so I haven't been very good at it. <laughs> I've almost been like right next song and we rush through sets, but I think it's getting used to introducing the songs, what they mean to me, talking a bit about what I do. So that's a big thing about, it's quite scary talking to people. Um, I'm so used to just singing and not actually speaking. Mm-hmm. So that's a big thing. I've noticed like a massive difference. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, speaking of, you know, talking about your, your music, could mm-hmm. you introduce this next song, please? Of course. The next song is Right By Your Side. It is from my EP, which I released, I think it was 2022. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoy. <laughs> we can do so let's waste time singing to the skies and I cannot remember how this was meant to go but how can I when you're here and the stars at night between the dark they glow and when the sun comes up the moon is begging not to go It's like silly little things like, I'm kind of still scared of the dark. I mean, who isn't though? It's kind of scary. <laughs> um, so I thought I'd write a little song about it. And when you're with someone, those fears, they're still there, but they seem less scary, but they're always going to be there. So this is Belong With You. I 
I wanna get close to the edge of the sea But it scares me that you don't know what's beneath No idea, so much fear inside of me I've always been scared of the dark It's not the darkness that scares me Just the unknown of being on your own Oh, and times like this you save me from myself Don't wanna fall in deeper, I won't catch my breath I'm scared of the things that I can see so clear When you stand right there, you make it harder to fear Cause when I'm with you, I feel so safe When you're holding my hand, you're pushing me on I suddenly feel like I belong, I belong Oh, I belong, oh, I belong with you I'm scared I dream too much So ground me down and show me all calm It's like the ocean on a summer breeze It don't compare when you're holding me oh, oh, oh. And times like this you save me from myself From myself, from myself Don't wanna fall in deeper I won't catch my breath I think it's nice to mention a lyric in that song um, says, I'm scared I dream too much, so ground me down and show me what calm is. It's kind of like a little, um, not a shout out, um, but obviously being a musician, we're always told kind of like, you're dreaming too big. Um, and that's obviously a big fear. Um, but then what else can you do when you've got like this big ambition and you want to keep on releasing stuff and just like being yourself and creating stuff. So I think it's nice to have like, kind of a bit of realism in the song to be like, hey, we're always told we dream too big, but we're still gonna try. <laughs> Say the words right in my mouth to make me feel like it's okay And I can wait We'll be dancing in the kitchen We'll be singing in the shower You come over, we both know the way was fine Cause now this time is ours You say that you miss me You know I'll miss you too But we don't have to say We both know the way it comes so naturally You're the way Oh, 
okay So I've been thinking recently How the distance never comes between Lay, oh won't you lay here with me Even if it's through the phone Even if it's through the phone When you're saying how you're feeling And you're feeling how you say You tear the words right out of my mouth To make me feel like it's okay And then I realize I know I can't wait We'll be dancing in the kitchen We'll be singing in the shower You come over, we both know the way is fine Cause now this time is ours You say that you miss me You know I miss you too But we don't have to say Cause we both know the way It comes so naturally And you are of the way You are of the way oh. I know, I know, I know, I know you're worth it You know, you know, you know, you know it's worth it And I know, I know, I know, I know you're worth it And I know We say in the shower You come over, we both know the way it was fine Cause now this time is us You say that you miss me You know I missed you too But we don't have to say We both know the way It comes so naturally And you are of the way mm, You are Once again, Holly Rolf here on Lee's Secret Sessions. Um, Holly, you're studying musical theatre. I am. In Leeds. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I want to ask was, do you find your theatrical experiences and skills end up crossing into your music at all? Yeah, I think they're definitely transferable. Um, mainly in like... <laughs> I thought you laughed at me then. <laughs> Big word. Big word for me. <laughs> Um, yeah, so um, we study a lot of composers and their works. And because I originally came from a musical theatre background, I'm really interested in harmonies and all that kind of, kind of what the voice does and like how many things the voice can do when the voice can be an instrument itself, which I suppose is things you do study as well in pop and songwriting. Um, but I feel like, especially with my EP, there's the backing vocals and the harmonies are used mainly as an instrument. So I think my EP is heavily inspired by my musical theatre background, whereas my new stuff is more, definitely more poppy sounding, the typical kind of pop sound that you mm -hmm. usually hear. So definitely, I think it's taught me a lot about um, music, trying to read music as well. Um, so yeah, studying other composers was really helpful. And like with dance and that, I'm like, oh, can I dance to this song if I write this kind of song? Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, as you described earlier about how you like to have a narrative mm -hmm. in your music, that's definitely something from musical theatre, um, yeah. you know, making sure that it follows a narrative throughout. Mm -hmm. And following on, talking about pop music, as a pop musician, how do you find the balance between appealing to the masses and staying authentic to yourself? Because obviously, as you know, the pop market, it's can be a very oversaturated and mm. very like trying to appeal to a certain sound how do you be able, how are you able to find that balance essentially i really struggled i think i still do struggle and it's so hard but i tend if i'm trying to write a song that i want to be released and for people to like it won't come and it will just writer's block will just hit and it will kind of never leave um but as soon as i'm like no let's pretend this isn't going to be released and this is just for myself. That's when I think the authentic songs get written and any songs get written. Um, I think I went through a phase, especially between releasing my EP and um, releasing my latest song, Words Ain't Enough, 
um, with that song, I was like, oh my God, I haven't released in so long. I need to write something that people will like. And there was so much pressure. And then as soon as I got rid of that motion and that feeling, that's when the song really grew and became something to me. And then once it was something to me, I was able to give it to someone else mm -hmm. and for people to listen to. Out of your discography, this might be a big question, but is there any of those songs in particular you find is the truest to you and the most the song you've written for yourself? I think it all depends what kind of era of my life I'm in. I think um, my EP was very, very truthful. Um, I liked it being very stripped back. Um, I think like the most instruments I used was like obviously my, the vocals, the piano, guitar, and like some strings with it. But I think words ain't enough. Um, to me, I was so scared to be so honest in a song. I was like, can I can I say that? Is that too honest? Um, so I think Words Ain't Enough is probably the most truthful song. Um, it was scary though, really, really scary. So I was like, it may not be a big deal, not, not be a big deal for the listeners, but to me, it was quite a big deal releasing that and being so honest about kind of like actual things that have happened. Mm -hmm. I think that's definitely a feeling a lot of songwriters can relate to. 100%. I'm sure if you ask anybody, yeah. you know, um, I think it'd be very rare to find a, an artist who went, I'm completely fine revealing all of this, <laughs> yeah. you know. But Just wearing your heart and your sleeve yeah. to everyone. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, who are your inspirations? Oh, I love everyone. Like, um, I'd say I love Lauren Spencer Smith, Mimi Webb, Bella May, especially. I love her stuff. Um, I listen to so much music and so many different genres like musical theater to like house to songwriter um, and all that kind of stuff. But coming to uni um, and meeting so many talented musicians and hearing what other people are creating, I'm really inspired by the people around me as well as the people in the charts. Um, so I, I get inspired by those people, but also like people around me. Mm -hmm. So have you found what what have you been able to be inspired by, you know, coming to Leeds and working with musicians every day? Um, oh, that's a hard question. Um, I think just being brave and trying different things, even if you don't think it's going to work. I mean, like, we're working on a song at the moment and I'm like, no, I don't want it to go there. I'd be like, just try. But if I didn't come here, meet Brendan. I wouldn't have someone challenging my ideas. So I think getting other ears as well, like words ain't enough. Um, before that was released, I sent it to a couple people at the conservatoire, um, some of my friends, and just I was like, just be so honest. Like, does this work or does it not? And I got feedback from those people. So I just like getting people's opinions, um, hearing other people's stories, listening to other people's music, um, like going to live gigs and listening to the stuff that people are creating right now, thinking, oh, I love that. I could so like incorporate like something like of that essence, but in my own way, mm -hmm. just like, I love everyone. <laughs> <laughs> um, question we ask everybody on the show, mm -hmm. describe yourself in three words. Bubbly, I'm always smiling. So I think that has to be in there. <laughs> Creative and inspired. I'm just inspired by everything. Bubbly, creative, and inspired. Exactly. That's Holly Rolf, everyone. <laughs> um, Holly, thank you so much for coming on the show. Of course. Uh, for the people watching out online. Thanks for uh, having me. Thank you. If you like what you see, uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Um, Holly, what can we expect from you in the future? A lot more music. We're writing stuff. Um, we're writing a lot of stuff at the moment. Um, it's just deciding what comes out next, what's right to come out next, because I want it to follow a similar vibe to Words Ain't Enough. That kind of like, I like to write in um, areas of my life. So I have like a couple songs that'll be that experience, and then the next one will be a different chapter. Um, I've got a couple of really cool support acts um, that I'm doing. Um, a big one in summer, supporting Keen De Crow um, with Tally Mar, which would be so cool. Um, so that's a big thing that's coming up. Yeah. Amazing. Well, thank you very much for coming on the show. Um, could you describe this last song for us, please? Yes. Um, so I think this is one we want to be released really soon. It's called Worst Enemy. 
and it's very very similar along the plot lines of words ain't enough it's about you've been in a relationship you've broken up and then you find your way back to each other and it's like you know you shouldn't be doing this but like it feels nice and comfortable and it feels great and then you you have that conversation you're like no this needs to stop like this is just not healthy and then it ends and that's the song <laughs> said things we didn't mean broke each other's hearts and in between wrote another story but didn't finish our chapter let something begin when it should have been Till it don't feel right Cause it's not that I miss you I miss the idea of you wanting me It's dark, you're outside in the rain But it's not reality And boy, I know that we're too far gone But what if you're the only one So all I can do regrets cause I follow my instincts some things must be stopped but oops I follow my instincts agreed for right when we both knew it was wrong at least we can say our love was strong
You're my worst enemy. 